Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review and today's something we've seen already just in orange and of course that's the uh, ZGMF X42S Revolution Destiny Gundam Hino Western Flus Custom. Man, they're going a bit nuts with these names lately. But anyway, once again, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want one of your own, link in description. Now here we go. So right off the bat, I can tell this is going to be quite this short review because as you would expect, this right here is exactly the same as what we saw last time with the standard release of the new Destiny Gundam, which I guess some people call the Destiny Revive, even though it's not a revive, but it's exactly the same just in new colors. So speaking of them looking almost identical, the same goes for the boxes. Bad I didn't even try here. The box is literally exactly the same as the original, except it's a little zoomed in. The wings look a little bit more blasty in orange. And we don't have that there. Legend Gundam in the background, but basically these are identical. First off, there is a quick overview of absolutely everything that comes in the box. So once again, this kit does come with quite a lot and exactly the same as we saw before, besides the colors, of course. So that right there is what the Westin Fluss version of the Destiny will look like out of the box and snap together. And I have to say, this is my favorite version of the Destiny. Well, I guess compared to the standard version, that is. This is such an over-the-top color scheme. I love it. So much so that I'm not sure if it's screwing with the color on the camera. It might be, and I hope it isn't, but it looks like it is. Either way, pretty damn cool. So there it is side by side with the standard version of the Destiny. Once again, this is totally the Revive version of the Destiny. I do have a full review of this high grade. If you want to check that out, you can. I'll pop a card up in the top corner right now so you can check that out. But what we're looking at right now today is exactly the same. And I mean exactly the same as what we saw before. I mean physically, of course, the colors are absolutely different. I mean that orange is fire. Seriously, I like this version of the Destiny so much. I've got the high grade, the real grade, and the master grade of it. But the new high grade here as well as the real grade look absolutely fantastic. That color, that orange is blinding. It is so good. Like I mentioned in the last review, the standard high grade Destiny, both the real grade and the high grade look great for different reasons. But I do find that the uh, high grade right here tends to hold up a little bit better than the real grade right here. As for the master grade, however, I do suggest taking a pass on it. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. And whereas the high grade and the real grade have this absolutely striking orange, the master grade has more of a month old cheddar cheese vibe to it. Not looking so hot. The Master Grade Destiny is seriously hurting for a 2.0. I'm thinking Freedom 2.0 style. That would be epic. So there's very quick spin of the mobile suit. And besides that electric cheddar, it's all pretty much the same. The red is a little bit more muted than what we would have seen on the Destiny. But all in all, it is exactly the same. So that means the same killer curves, proportions, and silhouette as that of the newest version of the High Grade Destiny. All in all, this is an awesome kit. And I think it even looks that much better in this color right here. But then again, that's subjective. So now moving on to the accessories. And here is the Weston Flus version of the Destiny Gundam with absolutely everything that it comes with. Once again, exactly the same as what came with the standard Destiny. And that is all these effect parts, including the Wings of Light now in orange. Beam effects for the weapons. We got the beam effect for the shield. Beam effect for the Palma Fiocina. We have two alternate hands also for the Palma Fiocina. And as for weapons, we've got the beam rifle, Arundite beam sword, the high energy long range beam cannon, as well as the shield. So first First up with the hands, these are those standard set of holding hands with a square hole in them. Besides that, then we've got the pair of Palma Fiocina hands, so let's pop them on. Standard ball joint, just pop on like so. That is what they look like there, so widespread and dynamic. Once again, I will mention, just like with the other version, there isn't two sets of this little yellow section included. So there isn't four of these for the four different hands, so you have to pop that out and share it with the alternate hand. So that is a bit of a pain in the ass. And these are small, so therefore easy to lose. Next up in here then we've got the Palma Fiocina effect parts from the hands, which kind of look like splashing water. Right there is the one from the original, so these effect parts are identical. That then slots into the palm like so, and that's what it looks like attached. Next up then, as we're on the blue effect parts, this is the beam shield. Once again, you have to pop this little guy out, attach it into that beam shield, and then it just pops onto the back of the hand, just like so. So that right there is a quick example of what it will look like up on your shelf using the Palma Fiocina as well as the Solidus Fulgore Beam Shield Generator. So far so good, but we do know we do have some more awesome effects in here, so let's check them out. So just like with the last kit, we do get a pair of the Wings of Light. This time around, as you can see right here, they are in orange, 
not in that pinky color we saw last time. So this down here, of course, are the ones that came with this kit, and these are the ones that came with the last one. So they are different. The effect parts in this box are slightly, well, very different color. Of course, in here we do have a pair of those. They attach in extremely simply, you just open up the wing like so, and then it just slots in with these tabs down here and here. They just slot in over the wings, the little wings, and then just clip in like that. So to answer a question I totally missed in the last review, that is, do the Wings of Light work with the real grade? And the answer is no. No, they do not. The reason is the wings are spaced differently and shaped differently than on the high grade. So if I flip that round and then just put this up to it, you can see that those little slots aren't the same shape and don't even line up the same way. So even with modification, the angles are all completely different and that will never really work. So not compatible with the real grade. So once again, there's an example of what it will look like up on your shelf once it has those absolutely awesome wings of light attached. And these do look pretty cool. I feel they're not as effective looking as the pink on blue that we would have seen with the standard Destiny, but they're still pretty damn cool. So here's someone out there thinking right now, well, what does this one look like with this one's wings and this one look like with that one's wings? Well, why don't we find out? So off with orangey coons there we go on with the pink and then we throw the orange ones on here so there they are side by side that's exactly what they're gonna look like the standard destiny with Heine's wings and Heine with the standard destiny's wings and still I do feel the pink looks that little bit better but either way both looking awesome. So next up then onto the rest of the equipment and we've got the shield pretty much the same as we saw before that can open up like so. It attaches onto the whoa come back here it attaches onto the forearm like that. Next up then is the beam rifle same as before so much so that I forgot which is which so uh yeah pretty much the same. So it does have this moving sight and handle. There is a quick example of what the Destiny will look like in a pose with its standard Gundam loadout of beam rifle and shield. And once again, I just have to call back to the last review in mentioning the fact that this thing has some of the best high grade articulation mixed with such an awesome set of proportions that really makes it mind blowing looking, so anime looking in poses. I would almost say that this high grade, either version of it is a must have kit, especially if you're into some crazy poses. So moving on to the heavy weapons and we've got the Arundite Beam Sword. When not in use, that slots right in there like so. And we've got the High Energy Long Range Beam Cannon. And when that's not in use, that slots right in there like so. Awesome. And that means when the Destiny wants to take care of business, these can just flip up from the back, up over the shoulder like this. That arm reaches up, grabs on, pulls on out of the slot like so. So that's what makes, in my opinion, this better than the real grade. It seamlessly pulls out like that because it moves with the natural arc of the arm instead of sliding in and out directly like the real grade would have. But anyway, then this flips out clicks down into place, the guard sections flip out like so, and then beam on. Probably one of the coolest swords in Gundam history, ever, probably. Anyway, once again, this is exactly the same as the one we would have seen with the standard version of this kit, except the beam is in pink with that. Orange this time around, still means business. And as for around on this side, flip that wing up a bit, disconnect that a bit, and that huge beam cannon can swing out under the arm, flip out, once again click in, handle flips out, swings forward, grab on, and there we go, absolute savage. I just love the way these weapons can be used seamlessly, well besides the fact that the backs of the hands have to be detached in order for it to hold them, but besides that they can be drawn from on the back pretty seamlessly, which I love. Whoops, I almost forgot, last weapon is these guys up here in the shoulders, the beam boomerangs, and this time around, the beams are in orange. And there's a quick comparison, that is the one from this kit, and this is the one we saw with the standard Destiny. So once again, identical besides the beams. And of course, same goes for the long range cannon. So yeah, all in all, if you're considering buying this one right here, or this one right here, I highly recommend that you do. These are so fun, so solid, so awesome. The accessories are brilliant. And for me, there is only one letdown, and that is that massive seam line in the side of the head. I thought I made a mistake the last time while building it or something like that, but it seems like there's no avoiding that without actually getting down and dirty and modifying it. 
But all in all, this is one sick kit. Anyway, that right there is it for the review. And like I said already, if you're thinking about getting this, get this. I'm not sure what I ranked the last one because I didn't watch the video before making this. And I'm pretty sure I did say it was gold tier. And if it's not, well, this is gold tier. Ow, I bit my mouth. Need to calm down. But anyway, once again, this thing has fantastic articulation. I did not get into that in this video. So if you want to see the articulation, check out the full review, which was the standard Destiny Gundam. The accessories in here are awesome, especially the way they can be used right from the backpack. We've also got the Wings of Light, not as eye-catching, in my opinion, as the standard ones that came with the other Destiny, but they're still awesome. We've got the Palma Fiocina, the Beam Shield, Beam Boomerangs, Beam Effect for the Arendite Sword. This thing has everything. Well, it doesn't have a base. But anyway, as always, if you do want one of your own, there is a link down there in the description. You can get yours at Hobby Link Japan. As always, thank you so much for watching. Consider leaving a like. It does help me out quite a bit. And as always, I'll see you next time. Come back for those reviews.